एस चांद प्रेजेंट्स एजुकेशनल वीडियो लेक्चर्स एस पर दी ए आई सी टी ई कारिकुलम डिफिकल्ट कॉन्सेप्ट मेड इजी स्टडी एनी वेयर एनी टाइम मेट्रिक्स सो लेट स्टार्ट विद मेट्रिक्स वाई एंड हाउ मेट्रिक्स इज इम्पॉर्टेंट टू इंजीनियरिंग स्टूडेंट्स matrix is basically a rectangular array we have rows and columns in matrix but very important application i'll discuss about matrix is suppose you are sending data from one place to another so sending data whether it's a text whether it's a, it's an image or audio what do you do you basically divide the text or image in a form of a matrix so it means whenever you are uh, dealing with or uh, you are doing communication you need to uh, write your data in a matrix form but how you will write if you don't know about matrices so it means matrix is very important for engineering so let's start uh, with the uh, understanding of matrix topic hello everyone i am dr seema thakran welcome to s chand academy so in this lecture we'll be learning matrix and what is a matrix importance i have already told you and types of matrices then how matrix is useful when you are doing engineering so let's start with matrix uh, matrix and uh, its plural is matrices if you want to study this topic in detail please refer to the book by s chand publishing the ebook link is given in the description box below so let's start with matrix what is a matrix i'll start with the very basic definition matrix is basically a rectangular arrangement of data or, or you can say elements and how we arrange so every matrix we write in a square uh, 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 parenthesis you can see or we write in in round brackets also so these are the two notations for matrix if this is the uh, this type of uh, like uh, as a matrix you uh, this this type of box you are getting it means the uh, this this is a matrix first element uh, i'll start with the order so what we do we take this we this is the order of the matrix where this will represent rows you can say number of rows and this will represent number of columns so if m cross n means m rows this matrix has and uh, n number of columns how how we write or how we name the elements so very first element i will write a11 so what does it mean it means first row first element uh, first row first column element then i'll write first row second element so it means first uh, first one i'm giving the notation and then two means it is second first row second element then keep writing first row third element and until what uh, uh, element will be going you can see number of columns so th these represents rows and this this way you are getting the columns it means the last element will be a1 n the last element will be because this is first row and nh column so th these how this is how we write first row then second row and first element so second row first element second row second element second row third element and till up to second row and last nth column because you are you have to stop at the nth column and keep writing the rows how many rows we have we have m rows so it means our last row will be a mth row first element mth row second element mth row third element and keep writing the last element will be amn it means product of uh, the order which you can see m cross n the last element will be amn this is how you write the elements of a matrix so this is standard notation so in square brackets you can write in round brackets you can write a matrix elements we have uh, uh, got to know first row first element i am just writing a very simple matrix and then and another thing also these elements these a i j can be any real number any complex number there is no condition at all they can take any value they can take it means a i j i will vary from i value you can see it is still up to 1 m and it is starting from 1 
so 1 to m then j value is from 1 to n i we have mentioned j we have mentioned a i j these elements can belong to real numbers or can belong to complex numbers there is no condition at all it can be zero it can be iota there is no condition at all it means you this rearrangement this arrangement of elements in this form is called a matrix and it is very useful uh, for engineering students they should know all the properties they should know uh, 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 like uh, when uh, rank of the matrix and inverse of the matrix there are some important terms when they do engineering when they do uh, because in, in engineering is very very helpful for application point of view because in daily life we everything whatever we use and uh, is useful we do uh, the engineers uh, even uh, help us for like everybody use mobile phone nowadays and without mobile we cannot survive and we do a communication daily and in communication this matrix concept is very very important so this is the matrix uh, definition now which element is this this is first row first element this is first row second element and i just fill this row and columns how many rows this time this matrix has this is first row second row third row how many columns first column second column and third column it means the order will be 3 by 3 so this is a simple example of a matrix this is 3 by 3 so it means order can be any any uh, order can be any number but it cannot be zero order can can be any number this a matrix has to have one row or one column so this is the condition it cannot be m or n cannot be zero in any case if you are writing a matrix or you are learning a matrix concept so now if you have a matrix it means types of matrices you will uh, you you will have and types of matrices very first so types of matrices very first is row matrix as the name suggests row matrix will be what it will only have row only okay so there is no condition on column but there will be just one row it means it will have just what will be the order only one row and how many columns one two three four this way you can see so it means this is row matrix because it has only row nothing uh, columns there is no condition on columns if any matrix has one row it means that is a row matrix the same similarly you can write a column matrix so what will be column matrix it means it will have only column one column and how many rows one two three four so the order okay in order also you have to be very careful first you will write number of rows and then number of columns it's not that you are writing order in any way it's not like that so four cross one so row matrix you got to know column matrix you got to know move to another matrix and that is zero matrix again a very simple matrix by name only it means it will have zeros only number of rows can be any number number of rows or column any any uh, order of uh, but how many rows uh, it means number of rows there is no condition number of columns there is no condition but only the condition is it will have only zero and all all the entries will be zero so uh, this is three rows you can see and two columns so this is of this order this can be of any order because there is no condition on order but the condition is that it should have only zeros in the matrix now unit matrix the very important matrix unit matrix you can say or you can say identity matrix very very important matrix i will just mark it as star because the very important matrix which you sh which you should know and you keep using this what what exactly it is it is a matrix having this all ones and we call it diagonal we call 
uh, we start from the first element and we just go diagonally. This is called the diagonal of the matrix. So all the elements in the uh, in the uh, diagonal one and the rest zero. So this is three by three. But another important thing is diagonal entry is one. The rest are zero. Then in identity matrix, na, these should match. It means number of rows and columns should be equal. This is another important point for identity matrix. So number of rows should be equal to number of columns. I just add one more point here and that is if like for identity, diagonal element should be one, rest should be zero. This is how the identity uh, matrix look. Number of rows equal to number of columns. If in any matrix this property is uh, holding, then we say that is a square matrix. So I just write my next point and that is fifth point. Square matrix. Name is also even suggesting because square, you know, uh, the side, uh, the length equal to breadth. It means it will be uh, a square kind of matrix. It means number of rows will be equal to number of columns. So I just write any uh, different matrix. This time there is no uh, uh, element in uh, diagonal 1 and rest are not 0. It means this is not identity matrix, but it is square matrix. So it means you can have 2 by 2 matrix, 1 by 1 matrix, 4 by 4 matrix, 1 by 1 matrix will look like this. It means only one element, one row and one column. It means only one element. So this is the smallest uh, matrix uh, uh, existing. 1 cross 1, then 2 cross 2, 3 cross 3, 4 cross 4, wherever you are having rows, number of rows equal to number of columns, you will say that that is a square matrix. So it, uh, another point is identity matrix will be always square matrix, but having a different, uh, pro uh, uh, a special property in diagonal, you will be writing 1 and the rest will be 0. Now moving to after square, upper triangular matrix. So this was fifth point and the sixth type of matrix. All these important matrices we are discussing. So sixth is upper triangular. Upper triangular matrix. What type of matrix it, uh, this is? This is the matrix I'll be using when I'll be uh, telling you or I'll be uh, 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 teaching you the concept of system of linear equations or linear independence and dependence, which we'll be just covering in later part. So upper triangular matrix is the matrix in which you have elements in diagonal, then above, di uh, 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 above diagonal, Non-zero elements you will have, but before diagonal, all the elements will be zero. You can see this is the diagonal and all the elements before this diagonal are zero. This type of matrix is called upper triangular, the same way lower triangular. I discussed the same uh, in this part only. So upper and lower, lower will, uh, will be what? In lower, you will get the below diagonal elements non-zero, but above that the elements will be zero. Okay, uh, in some of the books, I just consider always this diagonal only. Uh, in some of the uh, books, the authors or the writers use this diagonal also. That's completely fine. It's totally uh, like how you take up the uh, concept. I take this as diagonal, main diagonal, but it's, it's not the only diagonal. You can use this as also diagonal, main diagonal. So if below diagonal you have all zeros, this is upper triangular. Above uh, diagonal you have all zeros, that is lower, tri uh, lo lower triangular matrix. And now coming to normal form of a matrix. And this form is, I will not be taking a, a square matrix because otherwise you will get confused what is normal form of a matrix. So if you have, you can see in diagonal you have 1 and rest element 0. So only the condition, it is not identity matrix. Some of the students get confused and compare and they think that this is uh, identity matrix. It's not identity. In diagonal you have 1, but you can see in diagonal you have 0 also. 
so rest elements you have uh, zero so this is normal form of a matrix but if it is uh, this element also if i write as one then it becomes identity also so identity matrix is the normal form of a matrix but normal form you cannot compare with identity matrix so in part 1 we have covered uh, matrices definition order of a matrix then uh, some examples we did how we uh, read the elements of a matrix order of a, a matrix and then we did uh, some special types of matrices uh, including uh, zero matrix then upper triangular lower, lower triangular in part 2 we will be continuing with the, the some uh, more uh, properties of a matrix then addition subtraction and some special types of matrices which we have not covered in the part 1 we will be covering in the part 2. If you want to study this topic in detail please refer to the book by S. John Publishing. The ebook link is given in the description box below. If you like the video please do like, share and subscribe S. John Academy. Don't forget to press the bell icon for the future updates of the upcoming videos. All rights reserved. This video has been prepared for educational purposes only. No part of it may be reproduced or copied without the permission of the copyright holder.